Good morning and welcome to LU Life Church. This is your life host, the Reverend Dr. Donisia Palmer. Our title today, This Day and Man. Ready for new adventures? How quickly time has flown. We are already the eighth day in our new year, 2023. And we will start our year, our segment, with a deep, grateful breath that we get to be the ones to be here. Are you ready? Let's take in a deep breath. Hold it with gratitude. And exhale. Let's do that one more time. And exhale. Bless you. Our title today, This Day and Man. Ready for new adventures? This is based on the ancient text, which says, This is the day that the Lord has made. Isn't that amazing? Rejoice and be glad in it. What does this mean? This is the Lord's day. This day and yesterday. And tomorrow, it will also be that the day after that. Now you might be saying, where is she going with all this? At this rate, every day, she'll be telling me is the Lord's day or God's day or life's day or the Creator's day. And there you have got it. Yep. Every day, each day is a this day. It's a today. So then, every and each this day, each today being a this day, is, as the text says, it is the day that the God has made, has been designed uniquely for you and me, of course, for all of us. Each day can be summed up then as God's day, made by life, God. Or some of you would, might wish to say the man upstairs or the, the law, the great law of the universe, life, source, creator. You might even want to say the almighty, the most high, the highest. And, you know, it's just getting so far into name calling. And so for this reason, I say life. For there is nothing greater in existence apart from life. Therefore, all is for the sake of life. This day, for the sake of life, made by life, you might say God, made today. And today, this day, belongs to life, belongs to God. Oh, how sweet, precious, right, good, and pleasant this is. But some might say, well, I do not feel so right, nor pleasant, or even for that matter, I don't feel good. Well, that does not stop the fact that the day, that is this day and every day, that they are good, beautiful, right, and pleasant, important, wonderful, blessed, glorious. This is the day that the Lord had made. The second part of that wonderful verse says, so the whole thing together says, this is the day that the Lord has made for you and me, each of us, to rejoice and be glad in it. The book is suggesting then that it is good. The day is good. It is a medicine. That is the antidote. That is the answer the key that fits every door and every set of circumstances. Therefore, it fits every person. Don't doubt for one minute of it. Now, I pause to say, as I say, don't doubt for one minute within, within your day today or your life, that this is so. Think about a day, a this day. How many minutes in a day do you know? 1,440 minutes in a day. That is 86,400 seconds. So to tally it up in the number of, the number of seconds into moments, we get 1, 
1,000 and 72,800 moments, which is 23,400 breaths per day. We, and you know we are powered by breathing. Yes, the breath fuels the lung with life. Oxygen for our body is life-sustaining gas. Yes, and if you have been alive and listening, if you have been alive and you're 80 years old, do you know you would have had 27,200 days today? And that is in excess of about 776 million 780,000 breaths. It's a lot. Why? Why? Why all these this day? Why all these breaths? Why all these seconds? For you to rejoice. For man, woman, boy, girl, rich or poor. Really, I should say, regardless of gender or whether you call yourself rich, poor, successful, a failure, whether you say black skin, white skin, brown, yellow, or any shade in between, learned or dunce, I think you get my meaning. This day, God's day, made for you, you, you man, you woman, you boy, you girl, you species, you meaning humanity, species made to rejoice in, to live in. And how can you rejoice? He said, how? How? You know, I can hear somebody saying today, my body is aching. My pocketbook is almost dry. I'm hurting. I'm feeling desperate. I'm feeling lonely. I'm fragile, lost. I'm feeling incomplete. But the day itself is always good, always right, always pleasant. Buckle up yourself. We are about to go on adventure. Buckle up with every nerve you can muster in your awareness. However weak, I say rejoice. That's another ancient text. It says rejoice. And again, I say rejoice. What difference will this make in this day for you to rejoice? Do it. Just do it and you will see. Just do it and you will see. Another Asian text says, taste and see. Ah, in rejoicing, you see, is true living. You'll soon find your way back if you have felt lost. In rejoicing, and if you're feeling ill or sorrowful, all this will quickly change. In rejoicing, rejoicing, not just for rejoicing's sake, but rejoicing because this day has been made. It is God's day. And if it's God's day, then it's a beautiful day. It's a glorious day. So rejoicing in that knowing, with that knowledge, armed with that knowledge, buckled up with that truth, uh, money will constantly, sorry, instantly not be a problem. Death and dying will no longer pose a problem. Everything Everything that we name a problem gets transmuted by the truth of this enigma. The day belongs to God, made by God for you, for me, for species of humanity and everything that breathes and moves and have been within to rejoice and to be glad in it. Be glad in it then. This really smacks of gratitude, don't you think? Therefore, to sum up our listening today, if you remember to be grateful, be grateful on each breath in the knowing, each second knowing that this day belongs to God, what's given to you and me for us to rejoice in it. You have been listening to the Reverend Dr. Don Isti Palmer. This is LU Life Church, your global spiritual community portal. To make a love gift, you can go to the link in the description box below or you can go directly to the paypal website and you can make your gifts out there to lulifechurch at gmail.com please
please pass this segment on to somebody else. Leave us a comment or your prayer request. Thank you for listening. Have a wonderful week ahead.